Hey, welcome to this video on how to update the firmware for USDX Plus. Let's look at what do we need in order to get the firmware updated for USDX Plus. This firmware may not have a new feature, but it can certainly go a long way in customizing the firmware for your own specific needs, like what I've done. I mean, if you happen to reset the firmware, you don't have to waste 10 minutes to bring back all the settings you want. You can just directly hard code the firmware you know values and then uh, upload it flash the usdx and every time you reset it will come back to your own settings you can also add uh, new menu features as and when new options are released i believe the current version uh, right now is 2.0 uh, there are still some discussions going on in the groups on how to use 2.0 i'll make a new video when it is uh, you know a little stable for all us uh, general users but if you really want to play with your radio usdx then 2.0 is the way to go Right now, I think we are at 1.09 or something. I'll confirm that uh, very shortly. So this is what we need to get things ready. Um, we'll need a PC or a laptop which has USB connectivity and uh, you can connect your Arduino Uno to that. We need an Arduino Uno or a USB AVR uh, programmer board, but I don't have that. So I'm showing this entire video on an Arduino Uno and how you can turn that into a programmer with which you can still program the USDX or upload the new firmware to USDX via Arduino Uno. So for that, we need an Arduino IDE and then five uh, short length ribbon cable with male and female connectors. Uh, this male and female connectors, uh, you will get that pre-made. Uh, don't, uh, you know, for the Arduino Uno, you need the male connectors and for the ISP uh, Plex in the USD X, you need the female connector. So I'll show you how to arrange the cables, how to put it in Arduino Uno and how to match that uh, in the uh, ISP uh, Plex in the USDX uh, radio. So you need to also have USDX uh, Plus uh, top cover removed so that you can access the ISP uh, pins. USDX Plus, you need to have the internal speaker removed so that uh, the ISP pins are beneath or underneath the speaker. So you need to remove that. And you need to have a power supply connected to US, uh, USDX Plus because uh, the five short length ribbon cable that I mentioned does not have the VCC and the VCC or the positive five volts given by the Arduino Uno is not sufficient in most of the cases and you may end up uh, corrupting the firmware while it's getting transferred. So we'll use the power from the radio and not, uh, you know, supply five, five volts uh, from Arduino Uno. But we'll have a ground connector plus four data connectors. That is why I mentioned five short length ribbon cable uh, no? Uh, wires and then code from uh, this URL. This is my own version. Uh, you can also use the theme, uh, you know, uh, code. Uh, I'll mention the URL shortly here or in the description. You can also get the code and customize it. I've pretty much customized it uh, for me. I'll we'll walk through the customization, then you can change it a little later. So let me connect the Arduino Uno and then uh, I'll we'll start with how to customize Arduino Uno first for the firmware transfer. You now connect the wires, load it with the blink. I think, okay, uh, first uh, we need to do is uh, uh, connect Arduino Uno to the PC laptop and then uh, connect, open up the Arduino IDE, load the blink code uh, to Arduino to ensure it is working. So let's take a look at that and uh, then we'll continue with the rest. Okay, um, so like I mentioned, uh, this is the original code. I've just updated the PPT. It was missing in the first round. Uh, so this is where I have forked uh, my own customizations here. I'll be showing this one, my customizations and how did I, you know, get through some of the issues that I had. I'll explain all that. This is if you want the original one, you, you'll have to download it, make your own changes. Uh, I will not get into that, but I'll explain what customizations I've done. And my customizations are also in my uh, GitHub account, which is there. So these are the customizations I've done. Uh, changes that I've done for the, you know, uh, for the forked uh, USDX uh, 3 in 3 USDX, but rest everything is the same. Uh, this is the basic code. These are some of the things I've changed. Nothing more than that. So let's go ahead and uh, load uh, Arduino IDE and then load the Blink. You can load it up like this. Go to examples, basics and Blink. And once you load Blink, uh, you change uh, from 1000 to, this will be 1000. You change it to 500, uh, basically from 1000 milliseconds to 500 milliseconds, just to show that uh, the blink is working. You don't waste much time around that. So this code is the uh, basic code. 
and once you uh, upload it you just need to ensure that you have selected the right boards here here it will be uh, arduino uno and then com4 how do you check com4 you open up the device manager in the device manager go to ports you should see arduino uno and a com port so you need to select com port uh, here we have com4 so i have selected com4 uh, here in the port and if when you say get board info you should get something like this it will return the board info if you don't get anything here then please take your com settings and uh, your usb settings and uh, programmer arduino's isp will come to this not right now we won't be using this bootloader function right now that's for a different purpose and uh, another day for explanation for that so this is what you need to do right now uh, so once you have all this uh, lined up you just click on upload this will compile and uh, you should see uh, done thank you verifying 924 bytes, uh, bytes of flash verified and uh, it should read 100% write 100% and then verification read 100%. So that is good. And uh, I'll just show you the Arduino uh, blinking. Okay. Thank we you. We saw the upload uh, from Arduino IDE to Arduino on COM4. Now let us see how the Arduino will look. So as you can see, this is uh, blinking uh, for 500, uh, once every 500 milliseconds. So our blink code is working. Now let us look at the next step of converting this Arduino UNO into a programmer and then connecting the wires. Uh, these are the wires that I was talking about. Uh, so you have uh, five uh, color wire here and uh, five male pins and five female pins. These male pins go on specific pins on the Arduino board connector. And uh, these uh, five will go into the ISP pins uh, that you see next to that white uh, you know, separator. Uh, so that is where uh, these wires will connect and we'll see uh, how to connect and what color code we are using for what chipset. Thank you. Hey, so let's look at how to connect the wires to Arduino Uno and then from Arduino Uno to USDX ISP port. So we have five pins here that we need to be worried about. These five pins are reset, MOSI, which stands for master out slave in, MISO, which is master and slave out, serial clock, and then ground. So on the Arduino Uno, you have pin number 10 for reset, which is usually marked as SS. This is just an image I picked off Google. Uh, pin number 11 is MOSI, pin number 12 is MISO. This is serial clock, pin number 13 and 14, um, you know, it's, it's just ground. Uh, it can be 14. Anyways, so, um, so yeah, this is the one. And uh, if you go to the next one, uh, this is the pin layout of the ISP on the USDX. And the pin layout starts with, you see this small dot here that indicates here pin number one. It goes right to left, uh, sorry, left to right and then down and across. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So which are these are the pins here. So this is MISO, VCC, serial clock, MOSI, reset and then ground. And these are the corresponding pins for, uh, you know, wires coming in from Arduino, you know. So pin number 10, which is uh, reset, will go into ISP pin number five, which is this one reset. Pin number 11, MOSI, yellow color will go into pin number four, uh, MOSI. Uh, MISO pin number 12, green will go to MISO pin number one on USDX ISP uh, pins. Uh, serial clock blue will go to pin number three here on the ISP pin out. Ground purple will go to pin number six. Like we said, we are not using pin number two, which is VCC, because we are not getting any power from Arduino Uno for this operation. The power is supplied by the radio power itself. Thank you. Okay, what we are seeing here is the five uh, leads connected to Arduino in the order that we have seen earlier, which is orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple, which stands for pin number 10 to 12, uh, 10 to 13, and then a ground, which is purple. Now the same leads have been connected to the USDX. Uh, I suggest you first connect the purple and the yellow and then you connect uh, the green, the blue and the orange which stands how we have uh, selected in the uh, PPT connection uh, diagram shown earlier. Thank you. Okay, now that we have seen how to connect the wires, let's go back to the Arduino ID, uh, Arduino ID and then uh, load up the example to make Arduino Uno an ISP uh, or an Arduino ISP programmer. So go to exa File, Examples, Arduino ISP, and then select Arduino ISP. You will get a new uh, window. What you have to do is you will have to sketch, upload uh, this file, not upload using programmer. If you do this now, you will be writing this code onto your USD device. Do not do that now. Just say upload. 
and you can see that it will be uploading the code into your Arduino Uno, which will overwrite the blink uh, that you had already uploaded initially. And now the LED should stop blinking because there is no blink function in this. This is how you prepare an Arduino Uno to be a programmer. Now, if you have to go back to the deck, uh, I'll mention here that how to make Arduino Uno, Uno as a programmer file examples. Arduino SP select this, and then you'll have to upload the sketch like I showed you. So you should see two uh, Blink code and then the Arduino ISP code. Now it's a time to go back to the Blink code and close it off. We don't need it. Uh, no, don't save any changes. All you need is this. Uh, not even this because this is already have uploaded. We don't need this. Uh, we'll come back and uh, we'll see what to upload next. Okay, now that we have set up everything, let's uh, download the code that uh, I showed in the first slide. Uh, this is my modifications I've, I've written on what I've modified. I'll be using this to upload. You can use uh, from this, uh, the main branch if you need be, and uh, you can make your own customizations. So let us get the Git URL uh, to, count, uh, to download. Go to the command prompt or command line interface, and then type in git clone, paste this. So it's cloning, getting all the data now. Actually, take some time. I've uploaded a lot of PDFs that I found in the document section, so you can refer to that as well. Um, so once it does, it'll have uh, the INO file, which uh, we will shortly see that by opening it in the Arduino ID. Plus, yeah. Okay, so there you have the INO file. Let me start that uh, explorer. I'll double click on this, and this should open up the Arduino. ID with the usdx plus dot ino file is the main code so now that uh, we have this so these are some of the modifications that i've done and i've uh, put the same uh, color wire color configuration here as well as a comment so that uh, you can verify that uh, in case you are using a different color wire i suggest you make notations before by uh, what wire are you replacing with orange to what, yellow to what, green to what, you know, or you can stick to this wire, uh, wire color combination and it should be fine. So right now uh, we are using 1.02x. Uh, earlier I was not sure, here, well, here it is. This is the version when you switch on the USDX, it will show momentarily. And I've made some uh, changes to this uh, code as well. One of the things I noticed from the original USDX plus code was that there was an option, uh, I think it is, uh, 2.12 uh, CW tone uh, one second. Uh, it was missing when I first uh, uploaded it. Uh, then I had to figure out uh, how did I uh, miss it and uh, then realized that uh, it was uh, hidden uh, in the menu options uh, with this hash if defined filter 700 hertz. If I uh, enable this filter, I'm unable to compile it if somebody can let me know why. So what I did was the CW tone, uh, which is menu option 2.2, was missing. So what I did was I commented this out. So this case is now coming. CW tone uh, gives only two options, 600 and 700 hertz. I want to add 800, maybe I'll do it later, but right now I'm happy I got it working. Uh, but other menu options are there, um, so you can verify it. These are some of the changes that I've done. Uh, there is a lot of code that needs to be, uh, you know, maybe taken out, uh, maybe modified uh, version 2.0 is also coming. So let us uh, update this into USDX. For this, what you need to do is you cannot uh, click on upload. Um, remember last time when we uploaded the Arduino ISP programmer code, we, we said don't upload using programmer because this will write to USDX. That was true for Arduino Uno uh, working as a programmer. You cannot do that. But here you are using your, you want to upload this code to USDX via Arduino Uno, which is now acting as a programmer. So you need to ensure that in the tool you have selected Arduino as ISP. Okay. Uh, and then Arduino Uno board, these won't change. You have selected Arduino as ISP. And then in the sketch, you need to upload it as upload using programmer. So let us uh, do that. And meanwhile, I'll show you how the, you know, I'll record on the camera how the programming goes. Okay, just give me a second while I record this uh, parallelly on the camera. I'll put the camera on record. And now it's recording. So upload using programmer. Uh, you can see that uh, here it is compiling now. And we have not yet received anything on the Arduino side yet. It's building it. Now it is writing. 
uh, it'll take some uh, time to write. You see that it's writing 32K, which is like the max that a 80 mega 328P can take. We have actually run out of space in the code. So unless uh, we do some uh, compact, uh, you know, make the code compact, it's difficult to add more features. Let's see uh, what other open source contributors can help us do. Uh, so right now you can see that uh, the Arduino is blinking rapidly. Uh, that is, it is writing into the USDX. We have uh, provided our own power. And uh, once it finishes uh, writing, this will do a reboot. As you can see, it is now reading. Um, see, it rebooted and we are good to go there. So that's how the Arduino uh, firmware upload is done. Thank you.